That's common ground there and the rules of life. 107.2 over in Beat FM. The album show is always a pleasure to welcome common ground back to the studio. And I'm looking around, I've got Chris. Oh, God. Jeez, oh. This is terrible. Hey, Fever, forget all the names, you know. Chris. <laughs> Hello. Wally. Well, this is terrible. This is terrible. Lee and, of course, Craig. Wally, how can I forget your That's name? That's the last you're ever getting off me. <laughs> I've right. blotted my copybook there big time. Anyway, guys, I found it hard to believe that it's actually over a year now since you were last in the studio. Oh, that's a rumour. That was, that, was, that was when you performed that great session. That was good one. That, that was June last year. Been a big year for you. Mm. Played with some fantastic, some fantastic <laughs> bands. Some fantastic I mean, tell bands. me about some of the gigs you you've played over in the past year. Since then, uh, Aberdeen. Uh, we've done a, uh, Aberdeen with John McCulloch, John McCulloch the Escorts. I think we did Mark Morris a couple of shows with Mark Morris. Yeah. Glasgow and Edinburgh. Glasgow Edinburgh. Yeah. Uh, Sunshine Underground. Sunshine Underground again, aye. Yeah. Then a lot of. Studio time, brand the studio a lot for our debut EP. We've been really busy, man. It's I'm sat my neighbours. Time flies. It does. Mm-hmm. I mean, have you been taking a lot of time out to write some music, write write some new songs? Constantly writing. Pretty prolific writers, yeah. Constantly. Mm-hmm. How do you? I mean, when as a band, how do you pick the songs that you're actually going to go in to record for the EP? I think I don't think it can necessarily be the. Best, best song I think it's sometimes the one that's going to work recording wise the one that will come together the best I think that's Aye. what I think as well I mean you can come up with some good tunes and you think if you take that and you should do what else can we do with it and sometimes you just think no you feel it you feel if it's the ones you want to record I normally look at Craig's face when he's <laughs> yeah and if uh, he puts the kind of funny faces at his balls, when he's yeah. behind the drums yeah. and it's like, oh, hold on, what's this? Aye, so you, you feel it, you feel it, and then you, you, you know, you don't know, but I, there's a bit of truth in what Lee says, I so, but you always know. And as a, a collective decision on what gets recorded, if uh, say one person thinks, nah, I don't like that song, it won't happen anymore. Yeah, That's good. Now, there's only... We've got four of you, and, of course, we are missing Sean tonight. Sean, Aye. hope you're well, mate. Aye. And I'm glad you sold your guitar. <laughs> Lee, Lee's not, but, but I'm glad you sold your guitar to Wes. I'm just glad you're not here. Holy <laughs> <laughs> kid, mate. So, the new EP, you've been busy in the studio recording some new tracks. When will we see the fruits of... or hear the fruits of that labour? <laughs> word on the street is there's going to be a single launch in September and an EP launch in November. I'm not sure about venues. That's know, not that far third, away. Third stereo involved in it, so yeah. I'm not exactly sure. But it's not a bad wee venue. It's going to be. Oh, it's a great venue. Went there to see Hurricane Number no. One. It was fantastic. Alex was an absolute. Am I allowed to ask what the single is going to be? Mm-hmm. You can ask. Is it? <laughs> 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 Closely guarded secret <laughs> at the moment. Anyway, guys, I'm going to take you back to June last year, the 11th of June last year, when you came in and played that great session for us. This is Common Ground live in session on the album show from last June. This is that thing called love. I mean, what do you think listening to that now? It sounds pretty good. <laughs> June? Yeah, it is a cracking tune. And, of course... All the songs that you did perform that day and all the songs the first time you came in and we played, they're still a mainstay of your stage set, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah the majority yeah. of them, I know. I've got to keep things close to our chest. Yeah. Anyway, you were saying that we were, we were having a wee joke there and obviously I thought it was a closely guarded secret that of what the single was, but you've been working on this track days. Aye, that's going to be the single release with the API. I've heard an early version of it, and it's it's uh, astonishing. It's Paul, his work. Uh, I've had to change guitar parts. Sean's had to adapt. Lee's had to adapt. Craig. Uh, but that is, is is that not what music is all about, though? Yeah, it's experimenting. That's yep. what you I mean, that's it. I mean, I've been following you guys now since you were first on, and even as I see you perform, I see the confidence levels actually going up. 
And when I listen to like Rules of Life, and I've heard the early version of Days, I'm hearing the maturity in the studio as well. Mm. Mm. No, it's it's always definitely getting bigger, isn't it? Also helps. Uh, it really helps yeah. you come on and puts things in that you hadn't thought of and encourages you. So yeah. like. You make you do something new or new again. Try this, try that, try this, try that. Uh, if he doesn't like what he hears, you just say no. Well, as soon as we said we want that song sounding underproduced, yeah. bare bones, and that's what he gave us. That's what we wanted. But everything else is really, really produced like. So it's a lot of work. I mean, I've talked to a lot of bands in the past, and when they're talking about when they go in the studio and they've got a producer, it's they always had a producer. It was his way, the highway, or the highway, and they didn't always end up with the, the track that they wanted. Yeah. But we seem to be now in an era where you've got producers who want to get into the band and want the best for the band mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. You'll probably find the producers that want to work will take you into their studios are the ones that want to work with you. Yeah. Mm. I mean, if they don't, yeah. do you know what I mean? The, the end of the day, his name is on it. Aye. Aye. Aye, that's it. So where have you been recording? Is it the same studio you're working out of? 45 r recordings, mm. uh, Glasgow. Up in Glasgow. Mm. Now, we're going to play another track, and we'll talk a bit about gigs that are coming up. We're going to play, this is Mr. VIP, and this is Common Ground. Now, I'm going to go to Lee, because you're going to be the first one that's going to get a track played from. I set you a challenge of picking a track that, that kind of means something to you. So, Lee, where did the Black Keys come in in your life? My mate, my mate got me the album a good few years back, and I just couldn't stop listening to it. I couldn't stop listening to it, and I just like the way it drops down and comes back up. Love it. Is that the kind of is that fairly typical of the music you listen to at home, yeah. or or do you listen to anything? I'll, I'll listen to any of my guitar, and I don't listen to. But I mean, what would you say? And I probably asked you this the first time you were around, but for anybody that's listening and hasn't right. heard before, what kind of music influences you? I don't know. Well, when I first started playing the guitar, it was stuff. It was Britpop stuff, but. As I started listening to more and more bands, I like that kind of Ameri- Americana. See, like, like Black Rebel and yep. Black Keys. I like, I like that stuff. See, like kind of bluesy rock stuff. Yeah, I like that stuff. Has got a bit of power to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit like your own music. Is that maybe why, why Common Ground have such a, a powerful sound? Um, I don't, I don't think it's just individual. No, yeah, me, I know, I know, I know. No, I don't know. I think it's just a collective of what we all listen to. Eru, play a track, this is Lee's track, this is the Black Keys and Gold on the Ceiling. Anyway, we will talk to Willie after his choice. We get Jerry Rafferty, get it right next time. We'll be talking to Willie about why this song is special to him. And then we'll be talking to the guys about the gigs they've got coming up. Jerry Rafferty, get it right next time. Willie, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that's quite a surprising choice. Um, well, as a songwriter, um, I relate to Jerry's music, plus the fact, I think the term genius gets used far too loosely, but in his case, he was a songwriting genius, his delivery, I wrote about it, and yep. I'd actually suggest any band, or any young, any other younger bands coming through to listen to his work, and actually it's a treasure trove, uh, absolute just genius it is really he was just a class songwriter brilliant even his vocal styles it's, uh, it was just uh, it was really it looked really easy for him and uh, that's do you know what I mean when you listen to his records you can relate to a lot of the stuff he sang about that's for me that's why he was one of the best songwriters I read I read on the internet just not that long ago that there's a few projects on the go that the Jerry Rafferty estate are working on and one of them is actually a book of his lyrics. I well, I mean, I don't, I don't think he gets enough press. To be honest, especially, especially now, even when he's passed, I don't think. It, I mean, yeah. I mean, if you know Jerry and you Jerry the music, you're a fan. But if you're not a fan, I've actually have a listen. Do you know what I mean? I think you'd be really surprised. Oh, definitely agree. So that was Jerry Rafferty. Now, guys, how many songs are going to be on the EP? Five. God, that's almost an album. Maybe six if if we if we can come up with anything between now and then. So you never know. It might be it might be one more, but I'm gonna be to give it to five. I think. I mean, Craig is sitting there very quiet, so he is. And I mean, Craig, would you see yourselves a common ground putting out an album sometime? Aye, definitely in the future. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. 
I mean, you've got bands. I mean, I always come down and talk to bands, and it always comes up you get bands that are EP bands who believe in the EP, maybe five or six songs. And then you've got the bands who say, oh, no, we want to put out a full album. album at some point. For right. me, it's I don't want to give too much away unless mm. unless it was a big enough platform and place yes. for it to be mm. an yeah. album. Then I, I mean, I know a lot of bands can promote it itself, and I, but for me, it's you don't want to give too much away. You don't want to give your best work away. No. And then, mm. you know what I mean? Anyway, you have got a big gig coming up on Saturday night. Tell me about that. That's Feeling Club Night. Record Factory. I think it's the last one of the Record Factory, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's yeah, right. Movement to Touch. Movement yeah, Touch. Movement to Touch. Uh, there's five bands on. Five great bands of pals on one of the leases. Yeah. Be there. Ah, you, we, you, we can't, you can't even see them. Absolutely. They bad. are a fabulous band. It's absolutely yeah. superb. Probably we've live and all. We've played a lot mm-hmm. with the guys a lot. I mean, that was our, our first... As a gigging band, that was our first band that came to see us live and vice mm-hmm. versa. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We love the boys, so it's going to be an absolute... Messy, messy. <laughs> I messy. love that, yeah. <laughs> and the record factory is always got a good place, got good vibes, got good vibes. It's, it's one of those venues that I haven't been in yet. You need to get, oh, you need to get in there, it's brilliant. It's yeah. just leather couches galore, and then there's a separate, there's a separate bit. Peroni. There's a separate <laughs> bit. And it sells Peroni, and it sells Peroni, I like that. <laughs> I'll need to check that out sometime. Anyway, we're, we're, we're going to go to Chris now. And Chris, you've picked a track by a fellow bass player. I have. Last one run by Bob Why are they all laughing there? Twins. I don't know. Well, I was in, uh, went on holiday to Tenerife there with my, my girlfriend. And on the last night, um, what was it, Beat Tripper, the tribute band to the Beatles were playing. Yeah. And when I saw Spanish Paul... Spanish Paul Spanish Paul and Spanish John Lennon oh yeah see see I just thought he needs that tune played so that's a wee tune from Paul as picked by Chris from uh, from Common Grounds uh, Band in the Run Paul McCartney now Chris you are part of the rhythm section of course Craig on drums and you on bass I mean when you have written a new song and you are working on the arrangements I mean how do the rhythm section tend to lead the song forward? Uh, I just kind of work it as it goes, really. Like, if we came up with, if Sean's come up with a riff or something, and then he'll play it, and we'll just kind of. We'll try and put songs that kind of complement each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and mm-hmm. set as well. Do you do a fair bit of jamming when it comes to when you're working on songs? We do, aye. 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 And that's where a rhythm section comes into its own, because jams are usually led. First by drums and then by bass, then guitar. Mm. That's right, aye. A lot of it. I mean, you've got a lot of it sometimes with Craig as well. Aye. Craig will just go off in his enemy world. Aye, because Craig mm. just sits, just Craig can just bash away from it three hours. It's making actually, aye, because even you do it, actually, quite a lot. He'll aye. come up with some, do you know what I mean? Um, somebody will just start playing an instrument and then somebody else will start mm. on top of that yep. and then somebody else will I'm start. always last to join in <laughs> obviously <laughs> as, you see, I, I, as it always should be Aye. I mean, I've, I mean I, I, the last time I saw you guys live was last Christmas no when, you, when you played the BBC did you give me a heart? <laughs> <laughs> and I was sitting kind of side on with you and I was watching Craig playing drums and his arms were a blur that's how it was. That's me just trying to figure out what you do. <laughs> uh, um, that was a good gig. No, Craig, um, I think I speak for everybody when I say Craig's good. Yeah. Lies. <laughs> that must have been good to play a kind of homecoming gig in Kawinning. And the place was mobbed. That was good, man. Oh, it was bouncing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, brilliant night. But I got but. started on a journey for the EP as well. Yeah. Mm. So a lot of support, man. It was just like, going back to obviously our hometown and playing because a lot of people know come to see us yeah maybe to give them a we'll probably to come again, see you know, maybe maybe right, so. I mean you had the, the I miss unfortunately I missed the Costellos because <laughs> they were the first band <laughs> that were on mm-hmm. and I think I'm going to catch them at a gig sometime soon they're playing I think they're playing the hack sometime mm-hmm. soon mm-hmm. and of course you had the ideology playing I actually quite liked them I and I got I got the guys after that I got in touch yeah. with them and I got I got them in session well, I'm glad the Castells come down because they just played I think that was a second gig yeah so yeah, it's good to have them done as well get it moving. so you've got some gigs in the pipeline tell me about them right so I we're doing XFM 
with this feeling nightclub night on Saturday which is always good so always big and that'll be in the record factory of Saturday there's still a few tickets there for that um, as far as I know after that 31st we're supposed to be doing Pret Fest um, we've also got the Edinburgh Fringe Festival and you're looking forward to that and what's going to be three sessions in one so it's going to be like um, acoustic set at the festival yeah then we're going to a live radio session right. that's good mm-hmm. get your sound out there uh, on the airwaves again finish up in Bannermans which yeah. we just played recently yeah. and how, did that, how did that go the that was great. Great. good audience yeah absolutely yeah. fantastic yeah. bouncing yeah. It's the, the layout of the place is aye yeah. it's just it's good man Promoter, promoter was bang on, promoter was sound. Mm. Got a big flat upstairs. Yeah. Got like six bedrooms in it. Aye. Just ran them up. Me and, Craig woke, <laughs> me, me and Craig woke up at 10 in the morning and everybody had left us in Edinburgh. <laughs> I think we just invited everybody up for like the gig up, upstairs. Oh, Weren't we up to it, but. We've got, yeah, we've got I love keys. that. We've got an empty. Aye. 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 Then, then the beer rang out. It's never good. It's never good when the beer oh. runs out. Nah. Anyway, we. We've tried to get Craig to pick a track, and we've been through about everything he said. <laughs> but we've ended up with this. We've made the collective decision. We've made the decision. Pretty sure for I should him. have picking his nose earlier. <laughs> <laughs> we've made the decision for Craig. This is Primal Scream and Loaded. Just <laughs> that's Primal Scream there uh-huh. and Loaded, of course, from Scream and the Alicats. One hundred seven point two, Urban Beat FM. I know Wednesday night, a very kind of hot Wednesday night. Although it is starting to cool down now. I've been chatting to Common Ground, and I believe. Were you looking at a gig there you missed, or was that a gig you well, shouldn't uh, talk about? Well, 26th of September in the Green Room, Perth. Um, that will be probably coinciding with a single... How, how, how do you find the audiences up there on the East Coast? How do they take to the common ground sound? Well, Aberdeen was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Not a crowd we got, and it was brilliant. The sound was brilliant, mm. and the crowd was brilliant. City was good. Mm. And it's... it's, it's granite. Yeah. I know when they call granite sign. Mm. Even when you get fruited and family and stuff like that, it's pretty much... Just Look, was good. Yeah. Was good. Mm. They seem to have a good a good right. scene up there as well. Well, right. Edinburgh though, as Edinburgh can be a hit and miss. Mm. Oh, definitely. You can be a yeah. well established established band yeah. there, but the crowd don't seem to really get it. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I've been to. I I always tell people a story. I went to see David Bowie perform at the what's the venue outside the airport for Ingolston, wow. and but really <laughs> crap venue. Just a big shed, mm-hmm. and unfortunately, it was a night where Mr. Bowie decided to just be an autopilot. Mm-hmm. And but the audience, I, I, I'm jumping about. I was a lot younger. I'm jumping about, and all the all the the people saying, "Oh, oh, please don't jump about. Can you not right. just stand and watch the watch That's the band?" And it is. And we were talking earlier about Glastonbury, and some of you felt that was missing from Glastonbury, Glastonbury this year. No, I think like, the crowd, the crowd don't. I mean, you'll never beat a Scottish crowd. But for me, I mean, uh, I've certain acts stuck there that I loved. Obviously, I mean, I told you it's not. Yeah. Can you West thing? Um, no. Nah, I'm not into. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I'm not. It's, it's a festival. It's for everybody and that. Yeah. But I, uh, you'll never beat a Scottish crowd. I mean. No. I mean, you look at Tea in the Park. You see the footage from Tea in the Park, and every that, it's just bouncing. That wasn't there. At Glastonbury this year, it any would have been if Craig was there, probably man. He'd have been right myself. <laughs> <laughs> do you try right as a band? Obviously, you've got your favourite artists, mm. and do you try to see as many people as you can, or does it just not happen at times? You get to see as many people as you can. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you're picking up new bands as you go along. Yeah, mm. I think it's always a good idea as bands to go and see other bands. Yes, oh, I, I definitely agree yeah. with that. Yeah, but there's a lot of bands out there that excite me. Though. Yeah, stuff like Vant and all that. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's like. It's one of my favourite mm-hmm. things about being in a band is you find out mm-hmm. about like, like undiscovered bands that nobody really knows about, like mm-hmm. the local ones like Saints and things. Well, and you're yeah. always in the loop. We've played with, a, played with a few right? bands Brilliant. that we've thought, wow, they, they deserve something a bit Aye. bigger than what mm-hmm. they The Mona Lisa's right? as well, like, mm-hmm. not mm-hmm. quality bands, but mm-hmm. they're not well heard of yet. So yeah. I suggest everybody that's sitting there get up off your backside and go and see some unsigned bands it is that there are so many unsigned bands out there and there are gigs in Glasgow just about every day of the week gigs are, uh, gigs this are Friday in Irvine you've got five unsigned bands playing just yards apart you've got Cullen Sonic Templars when I was young playing the ship mm-hmm. and you've got Soldier On and Seaside Sons playing the hack well there's a prime example for you 
Yeah. 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 Two sold out gigs, Aye, which is good for the area. And uh, on the back of right, Soldier Honor, on the back of Arbor Arts there as well. That's right, yeah. Just announced the Magnum. Uh, that's right, right yeah. I know. Anyway, guys, it's been a pleasure to have you in. Chris, Willie, Lee, and Craig from Common Ground. Don't Grounds. forget that next time. No, don't forget <laughs> that. Listen, that is going to haunt me for at least, that, the, really? at least the I next hour. But you gave me a beer, <laughs> and the first mouthful I had out, I totally forgot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's shocking. Anyway, Thanks guys, I wish you all the best with the EP. I look forward to hearing it. The new single "Days" will be out in September, and uh, as I say, I've heard the raw version. It sounds absolutely amazing. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for coming in. Thank Common you. ground. Cheers. Cheers.